Hail and well met, fellow travelers. Welcome to the Gatehouse for the Gizmonic Order. I'm your Grandmaster. Cheers and welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about how to mod your Battletech game. So if you've got Harebrained Schemes Battletech, and you've already looked at my video, which I'll post a link to up there, that is all about how to do that using the Battletech Mod Manager, and that is not working for you, or you just want to skip that and go right to the chase, this is the video for you. I'm going to be telling you how to manually modify your Battletech game using the Nexus mods, Battletech mods that are out there. And if you're looking for anything really other than Rogue Tech, you should be good with this guide to how to do that. Let's go ahead and jump in and I'll tell you how to do it. So this is Nexus mods. And Nexus mods is the place where most of the Battletech mods are housed. There are some other places. I will put links below for all the mods I'm going to talk about. Plus, I'm going to drop in some links for other places that I know happen to have some mods that are available. But this is where you're going to go to get the mods that you're going to want to install to modify your Battletech game. So you've probably played the vanilla version and you may have been deciding that yeah, this is really not that difficult or I wanna do more or where's the rest of the inner sphere, whatever that is. The mods can open those things up to you and give you access to other parts of the game and extend your playability so that you can play it over and over again in a lot of different variants with a lot of different timetables. Uh, so you can start all the way back in 3025, you can go to 3067, you can do the Fedcom Civil War or the Fourth Succession War, or you, whatever you want to do, or Dark Ages or Jihad or whatever. There's all of these different options that are available to you through the mods. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Nexus mod site, and then you are going to click on one of the mods. Now let's say that we look at the Community Asset Bundle, <clears throat> and we look at our requirements. So it does not have any dependencies other than the base game. Fabulous. So you don't have to install anything else, but it is being used by several other mods. So if you want to install a mod that uh, is going to, like let's say you want to use the Battletech Revised mod, you are going to have to have the Community Asset Bundle. So be cognizant of that, that some of these things are going to require other mods in order to function properly. But the other thing that you're going to want to get and this is a good idea just in general, is ModTech. ModTech is sort of the baseline modification framework for how Battletech gets modded. And so what you want to do, and I will drop this link below, is go to Battletech Modder slash ModTech in GitHub. And like I said, link below. This will have an option over here for releases. You can see it right here. That releases will tell you which releases are the, are the latest and are the most stable. So you can click on that link and it will tell you here's the latest and it is unstable. And then this is custom tag and custom set and this is a stable release. So you can download this um, just by uh, actually clicking on this and then you can go to get this modtech.zip file. That will download a .zip that you can then unpack on your computer to install ModTech. So here we have a folder that I created for all the mods I want to install as part of this manual install process. The first is ModTech uh, that I got off of GitHub. The second is the Community Asset Bundle that I downloaded from Nexus Mods. Now, that's a Windows installer executable. So just like any other Windows program that has an installer, you just install that and it will put all the files and folders in the right place to make your game work and install the Community Asset Bundle for your game. And the last one is the Extended Commanders Edition, and that I also got off of Nexus Mods. That is uh, just a set of files. It's a zip file that you're just going to have to move in, and you'll see that in a second. First thing I did here was unpack ModTech. And so I just created a ModTech folder with a ModTech folder underneath it, which has all of these folders inside of it, including this README. Now, you can open that up, or if you look at the GitHub main page, uh, via the link below, you'll see a, the README on how to install it. There's also a drop dead simple guide for installing ModTech and the Battletech Mod Manager. Um, as part of that, there's a link in there that you can go to that's a wiki that has all that information as well. But let's get you guys through this since you're here. Uh, what you have to do though is you have to go over to your Battletech directory. Now that's normally going to be this path. It's going to be local disk, program files, x86. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Battletech, and then you have to create this mods directory. So if this does not exist, you have to create it. If it does exist, that's great, you're already there. So now that you have a mods folder, 
all you're going to have to do is move or copy the mod tech folder that was extracted over to the mods directory. So what you're going to do is just so I'm in my local install here and I have my mod tech. I'm just going to grab this guy, drag it over and copy it and bam. So now I've got a Battletech mods mod tech folder and that's what you're gonna to need to do. What I recommend that you do first is the community asset bundle. It's gonna take a while, and so I'm gonna cut some of the stuff out, but all you have to do is just double click it, and again, it will bring up your uh, installer here. Then you just tell it, okay, where are you installing to? And you say, yep, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Battletech, mods. So if you're not really sure where your mod tech should go, you can always launch the CAB installer, and it'll tell you what the default path is. If you've installed Battletech somewhere else, you're going to have to put it into that folder. Well, let's just go ahead and do it now. We just say update cab, and then it will download a bunch of stuff and install a bunch of stuff. And again, this is going to take some time, so we're going to skip to the end. Okay, and here we are. The community asset bundle is installed, so we can go ahead and close that, and I'll show you what it has done here real quick. So here's Battletech, and if I go into mods, you can see here it has all these different mechs that it has, uh, all these different community asset bundle items that it has put in. So here's clan mech, CU, IS mech, miscellaneous tanks, all that stuff. So this is all from the community asset bundle. Now what we need to do is to do the extended commander's edition. So first I want to kind of point out here real quick, if I come in here and I just look at the contents of the zip file, I haven't extracted anything, I'm just looking at the contents. You can see here is a mod tech folder. Obviously that's going to be a problem because we already have a mod tech folder. So instead what I can do is just say, all right, we'll pick everything and unpick that. And then all you have to do is drag this into your mods folder and that's it. And the good thing here is that there will be no collisions at this point because the only collision we had was mod tech. Everything else in the Commander's Edition and in the Community Asset Bundle and Mod Tech are completely independent, which is awesome. So that's going to let us do that. I'll let this go, and then we'll see you on the other side. Now, one note of caution here. So since I downloaded all the stuff to, to do this video, the Battletech 3025 uh, Extended Commander's Edition has been taken down off of Nexus Mods. I don't know why but it's not there any longer. There is a Battletech Advanced 3062, if that's what you want to do. And I am looking to find out what's going on with the 3025 uh, edition, but also if there are any other mods that might emulate or simulate the things that happened within that mod. So I do have it. If you are interested in getting it, you can reach out to me. Um, uh, just drop a comment and I will contact you and we'll try to find a way to get you a copy of that. A zip file because that's all it is uh, but recognize that it is not a supported mod anymore and that it's been removed from nexus mods so very much a caveat emptor so you know i guess downloader beware in a way but by the same token if you want it i do have it so you can reach out okay well here we are so we've copied everything over from our uh, zip file for the commander's edition into our mod folder. So we can go ahead and close this guy. Actually, let's go back up here. I'll show you real quick. You can see here there's a couple of uh, log files that were added when we installed the community asset bundle, but that was it. Just so that it knew what had been installed in essence, nothing major. Um, now we just kind of close that guy. And then this is all of the stuff that we have that's part of our two mods that we have, include then mod tech. So now the last thing we have to do is just go into the mod tech folder and run the mod tech injector. And that's it. Mod tech already injected. I've already installed it here, so that's okay. And we're done. That's it. So now when you run your game, you will see mod tech loading at the beginning. You'll have a progress bar. It'll show you what mod it's loading. If you want to add more mods, again, look at the Nexus site, uh, Nexus mods, and see what the... We're, installation instructions are most of the time it's just going to be going into your mods folder and copying that stuff in and that's going to be it so really the only thing left to do then is just run the game and then you can enable and disable the mods that you want to run with so again if you're installing new mods from nexus mods you may need to go in and find out how to do the install but that should be part of the instructions that are on that main page 
So when you go into the Nexus mods to go look at your mods, you can go here and look and see what actually has to happen. So in this case, this community asset bundle here is just install the mod, run the cab installer, select your mods folder, click update cab, start your game. That's it. And that's all it takes. So that's how you install mods. It wasn't rocket surgery, was it? I hope it was straightforward for you guys. I hope it's going to work. Remember that you might have some uh, situations where the mod developer has included things they probably shouldn't have, like mod tech. You are going to have the latest version of mod tech from GitHub, so don't overwrite it. Make sure you have that latest version. And if you accidentally do, make sure you reinstall mod tech from the version you downloaded from GitHub. I really recommend that you keep a, a bookmark for that, that site so that you can get it again if you need to. The biggest thing is that there are updates to that thing on a fairly regular basis, so kind of keep an eye out for those things. If you run the Battletech Mod Manager, it will check for that automatically and then re-inject it. If you're doing this manually, you're going to have to do that on your own, so just be aware of that. But it shouldn't be too hard. You've already done it. Congratulations. So hope that helps. I am also on Twitch. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm doing a lot of Battletech right now. Uh, and I will also be doing some New World when that comes out at the end of September. But I hope you had fun. I hope this was informative. I hope that you got what you needed to get your Battletech game working in the way that you want it to. Uh, happy mecking. We will see you next time. Thanks so much.